What's up everyone, back here for another trade recap video. Today is gonna to be on a $3,500 day, and today is gonna to be recapping two trades. So I'm gonna start with the first trade, Wave D. So Wave D was a stock that ran up pre-market and kind of topped out. So as you, could see, as you could see, I drew some very basic support and resistance lines, resistance around 350, and support around you know 270. So what my plan was in the morning was if this stock pushes towards the VWAP area. So this is all the information I have so far, right? This is the information I have pre-market. So my thought process is if the stock pushes up towards this VWAP area on this broken stock, it should at least make for one solid washout, right? So let me show you how I traded this in the morning. So again, my plan is looking for that VWAP rejection. So in the morning, as the stock tried to bounce to VWAP and failed, I took my first initial starter. It couldn't even get to that VWAP area, which was indicating to me that this stock was a little bit weaker than normal. So I took my first initial starter and it failed. Immediately when it failed, I was like, all right, now I'm gonna add to the winner. I'm gonna add to the winner looking for the goal of this retesting VWAP and just failing. But in case it doesn't fail, in case it doesn't test and just fails, I'm just gonna start adding to the winner. So that's exactly what I did. So my game plan on this was short a broken stock into VWAP. Took a starter. Let me zoom in. Took a starter here and added to the winner here. When we popped and had a lower high, I added more. And then as we tried to pop again and lower high, added more. We broke VWAP, added more. And at this point, when we broke this key support area of 264, I was like, all right, now I'm gonna short it and I'm looking for a cover target of low of the day, right? So again, took a starter on the VWAP fail. It couldn't even test VWAP, it was weaker than expected. Added to the winner after lower high and VWAP fail. Support broke, add. And then I took some off initially here, just in case it wasn't gonna test support. I covered half just to mitigate my risk, lock in some profits and just protect myself. Then when it immediately broke low the day and reclaimed, I got out of the rest and called it a day. A signal that I do not like to see is when the stock breaks the low of the day and reclaims, right? That just scares me. I don't like it. I'm not a part of it. It's not for me. So whenever I see a stock break the low of the day and reclaim, I cover. And that was actually a pretty perfect cover because it bounced once again to that VWAP area and failed. In hindsight, I could have taken another short on the same rejection here, but I was just a little bit, I was like scared of it. I was done with it. I didn't want any part of it and that's it. And as you can see, the stock is just kind of trending lower and trending lower, but either way, pretty solid trade on this low stress trade. Now let's talk about BBLG. Let me remove my trade so that I can go over the chart first. BBLG. So BBLG, this is a stock that is moving on news today, right? And you could see that it has a little bit of I'll show you. It has a little bit of resistance kind of in this, you know, 89 cent area, right? 90 cents, 89 cents ish area on the daily chart. So I came in today on this stock, pretty much just looking for a bounce to short. Same thing, it pushed up in the morning, it failed. Kind of set a top around that 103 area. So what I saw on this stock is same thing. It's a stock that's broken pre-market that I want to bounce to view app to short, right? I want to bounce the view after short and I would probably stop out if the high of the day reclaimed, right? So let me show you exactly how I traded this stock and what I did because I'm actually very happy about this trade. Okay, so like I said, my plan was to short the VWAP bounce. So I took some starters here and added on that VWAP rejection and it was actually going pretty well. It was in the green and I covered a partial position here just like I did on wave D to lock in some profits, right? So same plan, broken stock pre-market, shorting the bounce to VWAP, and then covering the dip to mitigate risk. So I covered some on the dip to mitigate risk, and then as it was bouncing towards VWAP again, I added back again, looking for a waterfall lower. Instead, what the stock did is it ended up breaking the high today, right? So this is a trade that I'm very proud of because I recognized that the stock was a little bit too strong, Volume was coming in and I stopped that at the high of the day. No problem, right? No problem. The biggest problem that traders face is they get too stubborn. They don't stop out. They don't listen to their rules. And what I try to do is I try to lead by example by everything, every single thing that I do. So BBLG, 
I stopped out here, but then I noticed, wait a second, there's a resistance area at $1. There's a resistance area at $1, and $1 is a key, uh, is a key whole number. So I reshorted some at $1 because I saw it was resistance, I saw that it was the $1 key area, and I saw a 100,000 share seller at a dollar. So I shorted in front of it. So I shorted it again, and then when we had this death candle, I added, another death candle added, and now that we're under VWAP, with elevated volume now stuck, I sized up, I sized up on this. So I sized up because now it failed high the day, it failed $1, and it had a death candle on volume under VWAP. This is pretty much every single signal that I need to see in order to size up. So I added more size, I drew a key support area right here at 82, and as soon as that broke, I cover the dip. Same thing, covering at support. Notice the support area is 77. That's where I covered. Covered some here and then cover the rest here. And that's pretty much my trade. So I ended up netting today. Let me show you. I ended up netting about $3,600 today, right? So pretty solid trading today again. Um, I was actually really proud of this stock because I took a loss and not only made back the loss plus more, I'm building good habits, building good routine, and sticking to the process. So another great trade recap video. Pretty simple, pretty clear cut. The MIC strategy is relatively simple in my opinion. Uh, anyone could do it. So if you guys like this video, please leave a like, please leave a comment, please subscribe to the channel, and please let me know what parts of this video you like, what more you wanna see, and I'll try to incorporate that into the next trade recap video. Thanks everyone.